Hi, Jeff here with another exciting issue of Mattress Retailer Weekly. And this week I want to talk to you about a very interesting concept that uh, has been published recently in a book called Revenge of the Analog by David Sachs. Uh, it's a book that, frankly, I haven't read, but I had the opportunity to listen to him speak for our about a one-hour interview with a uh, company that's having him uh, come speak at one of their conferences. So in the run-up of promoting this conference uh, and promoting their keynote speaker, they had David speak all about his book and really the, um, the content of what's in it. And it's, frankly, a page out of what we're doing here in our stores and what I've been urging you to be doing for the last four months, five months here through these videos at Mattress Retailer Weekly. So Revenge of the Analog is all about the connection of in-person experience with real people and going away from all of the digital efforts that seem to permeate every aspect of our culture in the way we market today. And it really got me thinking listening to this interview. So think of this, we have somebody who woke up this morning in pain and they decided to Google something about sore back, new mattress for a sore back. And that was the moment, the most logical moment in their entire shopping process that's gonna happen. That one moment that brought them in to the market. Now, what David was talking about, and I think makes perfect sense, is that digital is very much, um, Con congruence not the right word, but digital is very much straight line computation. If then there's always the right answer to the equation, you know, the whole digital world is just really a bunch of zeros and ones and an infinite amount of combinations. So at the moment of truth, when somebody enters the market, that's where us as humans, that's where your customer is the most logical. Everything that happens after that is illogical because as people, we're some of the most illogical creatures out there because we have this silly little thing called emotions and behaviors. So my point here is somebody jumps into the market with a sore back and that's where they start. And maybe they get some information that's very congruent, very much able to solve the problems that they're facing. And possibly your store comes up. Maybe it doesn't. But as time comes along and as their search continues, they begin getting parts and pieces of the solution that they're actually looking for, and that's a mattress. And then what comes along in the advertising in the digital world is all the digital advertising that's out there just related to the mattress buying process, not related to the actual problem this example customer is looking for. So my point in this is when we look at the digital world, it's very logical. As I said, it's a whole bunch of zeros and ones all aligned together. Really, that's your digital advertising in action. You say, my digital ad, my digital market is really this combination of a message distributed through the computer, distributed through the internet, using really a bunch of zeros and ones as the ultimate equation to get it to the consumer's inbox, to get it to the computer screen, to the mobile device, wherever it may be. Logical. Yet, we're very illogical over here. So what I'm challenging you to do is, listen, digital is very much and should be a part of your advertising, but think about always pointing your digital efforts back to that moment of entry into the market where it's likely the most logical. Because what happens after that initial bit of information is gathered, the pursuit continues and it begins to get clouded Whereas we began looking for a real solution to a sore back or a problem with acid reflux in the bed or motion transfer between two people, a real solution was being sought. In comes all of the leftover remnants of digital advertising to confuse the situation. So keep your advertising very focused on solutions because that's really the most logical part of anybody's entry into the market. Once they're out there searching around, we've all seen it, the people come in, they've got the little loose leaf uh, flip over notebooks, there's 27 pages filled up, half of it doesn't make any sense at all, the other half of it isn't really pointing back to their original problem, why they're choosing a new bed in the first place. So 
Keep your advertising focused on solutions. And then, when they're in front of you, that analog moment, right? The whole reason for this video, the wonderful book, wonderful concept, Revenge of the Analog. When people are back in front of you, make it an experience. Make it more than just, hey, here's our advertisement, digital or otherwise, brought to life. Here's the promotion, here's the product, and here's the price. That's not an experience. That's not this analog connection. That's not the wavelength, how analog devices communicate through wavelength. That's not the wavelength at which you can connect with people. See, your connection in the store, that experience, has to somehow cut through that illogical clutter and get them pointed back to what? Well, that logical solution that they're looking for. So kind of a higher level concept this week, but in hearing this interview really made me think about the way I promote my store, the way you promote yours, and where's this disconnect? You know, all of these online efforts of advertising are all very regimented, very tight in a box. They have to be. That's the world of digital. Whereas as human creatures, we're very analog. We're full of emotions, we're full of behaviors, we're full of logical and illogical, more so illogical behaviors, really, when you boil it down. So we're trying to force an illogical, unequative human being through a pathway of digital advertising that really only fits in one box, can only ever fit in one box. Think about that for this week. Think about how your advertising meets the actual solution people are looking for. I guarantee you it's more than price. Again, this weekend at our stores, we had a wonderful, fantastic weekend. Big tickets that drove a fantastic weekend for us. You know, and I can tell you it wasn't at the average retail price that's out there. We sell at three, four, five, ten time multiples of that routinely. So it's not about price. Find that solution. Get back to analog. Get back to experience, connectivity with your customers. Be personal. Create a wonderful experience in your store that's more than just price, product, and promotion. Hope you enjoyed this week's Mattress Retailer Weekly. Hope I made you think a little bit about how you present your store, how you connect with these illogical, behavioral-based creatures we call our customers, and we love them coming into our store. Help them out. Connect. Thanks for tuning in this week. Look forward to talking to you next week.